Located in the northeastern corner of Africa, Egypt boasts a rich cultural heritage that dates back to ancient times. The Nile River, flowing from south to north, has been the nation's lifeblood for thousands of years. Yet, as Egypt's population expanded to over 100 million people and industries and cities flourished, the Nile's capacity to meet the nation's water needs was stretched to its limits. If you do not know, in the late 20th century, during the rule of President Muammar Gaddafi in neighboring Libya, the idea of tapping into the Nubian sandstone aquifer system beneath the Sahara Desert to provide water for both countries gained traction. Egypt, facing water scarcity issues, saw the potential for a lifeline in this vast underground reservoir. Egypt has always been known as the gift of the Nile, in the heart of North Africa, where ancient history and modern civilization intersect. For centuries, the fertile banks of the Nile River have nourished Egypt. However, as Egypt's population swelled and its water demands grew, the limitations of this age-old reliance on the Nile became increasingly evident. Recognizing the need for a comprehensive water management solution, a new idea was born. A fascinating journey into one of Egypt's most ambitious engineering feats, the New Delta Project. Continue watching for you to witness the remarkable journey as we explore this monumental project's intricate details, challenges, and triumphs. From the planning stages to the impressive infrastructure, we'll examine how the New Delta Project has reshaped Egypt's agricultural landscape, transforming deserts into flourishing fields, and secured its agrarian future by discovering how visionary thinking and innovative engineering can change a nation's destiny. The New Delta, also known as the New Egypt's man-made river, is a monumental testament. The story of the New Delta is one of vision, determination, and unwavering commitment to overcoming the challenges posed by nature. The planning phase of the New Delta project was meticulous and comprehensive. It involved a multidisciplinary team of engineers, geologists, hydrologists, and environmental experts. The main objectives were to extract water from the Nubian aquifer and transport it to Egypt's populated regions, primarily the Nile Delta, through pipelines and canals. Key factors considered during the planning stage included the sustainable extraction of groundwater, environmental impact assessments, and the feasibility of transporting water over vast distances. Geophysical surveys and exploratory drilling were conducted to determine the aquifer's extent, depth, and quality. What you're witnessing is akin to what Egypt is ambitiously constructing to the southwest of Cairo, an undertaking of monumental proportions that will unfold in multiple phases. Let me break it down for you. This vast expanse will encompass newly constructed roads, residential areas, two power stations, the world's largest wastewater treatment plant, and, hold your breath, this mind-boggling artificial river stretches farther than any other. Can you believe it? The first step is transforming nearly 9,000 square kilometers of barren desert into a colossal farm. It's like watching an empty canvas come to life, painting a vibrant and sustainable future for Egypt. But hold on, my friends, because the project's ambitions don't stop there. The next step, slated for completion, will double the reclaimed area's size. This reclaimed land is inherently fertile. It merely craves water sustainable farming practices, and tender care to flourish. The lingering question looms, why is Egypt funneling billions of dollars into this endeavor when it already boasts the magnificent Nile River? Ah, curious minds, the answer lies in Egypt's dire water scarcity crisis. An exploding population is set to reach 116 million people by 2025. This rising populace and the stress on limited water resources have forced Egypt to implement water rationing measures and truck water to remote towns and villages. According to the United Nations, Egypt faces one of Africa's most severe water deficits. It is on the precipice of running out of usable water by 2025. The root of this water crisis is complex, and one of its significant catalysts is Ethiopia's construction of the Renaissance Dam near its border with Sudan. The dam's location adds another layer of risk, as a potential collapse would wreak havoc in Sudan and Egypt, while Ethiopia would face minimal damage. While primarily designed for electricity generation, this dam poses a grave threat to Egypt's water security. 
It has even sparked tensions that nearly escalated to war between the two nations. To safeguard against such catastrophic scenarios, Egypt's new delta project is strategically linked to the Nile River through gates and tunnels. These mechanisms are designed to absorb any sudden surge in Nile River levels, mitigating the impact on northern Egypt, where most Egyptians reside, including the bustling Greater Cairo area with its 22.2 million inhabitants. It's a lifeline they can't afford to lose. The new Delta project emerged as a visionary solution to Egypt's water challenges. Its objectives were clear and ambitious to address water scarcity issues by ensuring a sustainable and reliable source of fresh water for Egypt's growing population. To expand agricultural opportunities, the new Delta aimed to transform lands. It will improve economic growth and water security by providing a consistent freshwater supply through increased agricultural productivity, industrial development, and infrastructure expansion. Climate change and increasing desertification further compound Egypt's woes. Although 20% of the country's land is arable, only 5% is utilized due to water scarcity. Egypt currently stands as the world's largest wheat importer, the second largest importer of yellow corn, and the fifth largest importer of cooking oil. Additionally, it imports 100% of its lentils, 80% of its beans, and 32% of its sugar, an alarming dependency that spells catastrophe for a nation with such fertile land potential. Egypt's food imports have been on an alarming rise. This sheds light on the extent of their dependence on food imports and the catastrophic implications of such reliance. Egypt's economic and social future lies in the precarious, unsustainable balance. Egypt's agricultural sector holds significant economic importance, contributing 11.3% to the country's GDP, providing employment to 28% of all jobs and supporting 55% of rural jobs. Millions of Egyptian families, totaling nearly 40 million people, rely on agriculture, livestock farming, and foodstuff industries as their primary source of income. This monumental project, which has been in planning since 2006, promises to rejuvenate a region that was once a barren desert. The heart of the project lies in the Dubai Axis area, previously a desolate landscape with just one major highway that conveniently connects Alexandria's northern airport and Cairo's international airport. One of the most remarkable features of this endeavor is the 114-kilometer-long artificial river, acclaimed as the world's longest. It averages a width of around 70 meters, but in reality, it stretches over 170 kilometers. This astounding river, known as the AI River, comprises 148 kilometers of open concrete canals, 22 kilometers of underground pipelines up to 3 meters in diameter, 15 lift stations to accommodate varying elevations, and 39 bridges for vehicular and pedestrian traffic. Contrary to misconceptions, the new Delta project does not aim to utilize Nile River water for irrigation. Instead, it focuses on recycling residential, commercial, and agricultural wastewater. The centerpiece of this endeavor includes wastewater treatment projects, the Bar El Bakar Wastewater Treatment Plant, and the Al Mahazma Water Reclamation Plant. The project's connection to the Nile River is a contingency measure in emergencies, especially concerning the Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. About the Bar El Bakar Wastewater Plant, note that it is the world's largest treatment plant for agricultural wastewater. Its treatment units each produce a whopping 5.6 mn cubic meters of treated water daily. The underground reservoirs, a vital project component, are of epic proportions. But despite the concrete plans and designs for proper wastewater management and engineering, we can't avoid problems. The path to realizing the new delta was fraught with challenges that demanded innovative solutions. First, it has raised environmental concerns like the project's potential impact on the delicate Sahara Desert ecosystems and wildlife conservation. To make provision for this, ecological mitigation measures were integrated into the project's design and execution. Protected zones were designated to preserve sensitive habitats near the aquifer. Environmental assessments and monitoring programs were also established to safeguard local wildlife. Another challenge faced by creating this project is innovation in engineering. When built, the project is expected to be more than 100 kilometers long. 
The new delta project required drilling deep wells into the Nubian aquifer, some reaching depths of up to thousands of meters. Additionally, the challenge of transporting water over vast distances across the desert landscape was addressed through the creation of an extensive network of pipelines. The construction of the new delta also involves drilling and extraction, which will be a tough job. It will begin with the drilling of deep wells into the Nubian aquifer. They employed submersible pumps to draw water from the aquifer to the surface. The water was then transported to storage reservoirs through a series of pipelines. The project featured intricate pipelines with pipes constructed to transport water across the arid desert landscape. High-density polyethylene channels were employed to minimize water loss due to leakage. Pumping stations were strategically positioned along the pipeline to maintain water flow over these immense distances. Recognizing that water from the Nubian aquifer contained high dissolved salts, making it unsuitable for direct consumption. Treatment plants were established to desalinate and purify the water before distribution. A sophisticated distribution network ensured fresh water reached cities, towns, and agricultural areas, revitalizing entire regions. Recharge wells were strategically placed to replenish the aquifer and inject excess treated water into the ground. This process aimed to maintain the long-term sustainability of the aquifer. Another criticism of the project is its profound social impact. Comprehensive compensation and relocation measures were implemented to minimize disruption to residents' lives. This requires cooperation and understanding from neighboring communities. As Egypt presses forward with this visionary endeavor, it promises to rejuvenate its agricultural sector and provide sustainable livelihoods. This project is a testament to human ingenuity and determination, offering a glimpse into how innovation and resourcefulness can tackle even the most daunting challenges. The completion of the new Delta project will bring about numerous benefits and impacts, both for Egypt and Libya. Aside from significantly enhancing Egypt's water security and gaining access to a reliable fresh water supply for drinking, it will benefit agriculture and industry. It will result in agricultural expansion, crop yields will increase, contributing to food security in the region. This underscores the paramount significance of the new Delta project, enabling families to maintain a secure livelihood. In fact, over 5 million citizens are expected to find employment in various roles related to the project, spanning power stations, water infrastructure, wastewater treatment facilities, and more. The project will stimulate economic growth through agriculture, industry, and infrastructure development. Local communities living near drilling sites will continue to benefit from employment opportunities and improved access to water. Job creation and increased economic activity during construction helped both Egypt and Libya. It also equipped regional cooperation. The new delta fostered cooperation between Egypt and Libya, strengthening diplomatic ties. The project also encompasses the construction of numerous foodstuff factories, signaling Egypt's return to its historical status as a net food commodities and foodstuff exporter. Multinational corporations worldwide are eager to capitalize on this project, foreseeing future gains and expansion opportunities. While a similar project in the West might cost an astronomical $50 billion, Egypt has efficiently harnessed sustainable methods to realize it at a fraction of the cost, thanks to lower wages and materials expenses. The project's budget is $5.2 billion, a testament to its cost-effective execution. The project serves as a symbol of transnational cooperation for water resource management. If you found this video informative and engaging, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Please drop us a line in the comments section, and remember to hit the bell icon for notifications. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into this remarkable endeavor. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay curious.